Welcome back, everybody. I've had a couple of requests, believe it or not, for how to fold sheets and how to do draping. So today's gonna be on that. So here is my little bundle of fresh washed sheets, fresh out of the oven. I mean, they're hot, and they're not out of the oven, they're out of the dryer. So let's take the first sheet, this is the flat sheet, and I can tell you that I go with the right side up and I go halfway and just kind of measure where halfway is. And here I am stumbling with it a little bit. And then I go to the other half, fold it again in half, and a quarter, strain it out. Halfway again, half, half, half. So here's the flat sheet. Here's the fitted sheet, and I go to the corners, the lengthwise. I stick my fingers in the two corners that are lengthwise. I put the two together, I pull it over, I go to the other side, get my fingers in the other corner, put my fingers together again, over. It looks like a little rectangle. And this one didn't come out as nice. And there it is. So let's try one more, just so that you get the hang of it. So I go the right side, cut it in half, measure, another half, another half, another half. There it is. I go lengthwise, that wasn't lengthwise, so I'm going lengthwise to the two corners. Get the two co corners, middle fingers, whatever you like, whatever works for you, put it over. Other two corners. Looks like a little rectangle. This one came out much nicer. There it is. Now you've got your sheets all nice and folded, and that's how you fold a flitted, flit, fl and that's how you fold a fitted sheet and a flat sheet. So now I'm also going to show you how to do some draping. My rule of thumb is, as I step out of my room, so that the client can change, I leave. I leave it up to them how they feel comfortable. So when I walk in, there's males that leave it all the way up here. There's males that leave it down to the waist. And I'm okay with that because it's, remember we tell them to, you know, to their level of comfort. So if they feel comfortable like this, I'm okay with it. For females, obviously, they're gonna go, you know, all the way up and drape themselves. And some of them, I've had some that really drape even all the way up here. And if they're this modest, this tells me a lot about them and how conservative they are. So if they're draped this high, I try just to fold it down like maybe an inch or two, not as slow as I would normally do to get the pecs. You can always work the pecs over the sheet. Now, if you're gonna do abdominal work, then you definitely need to, you know, uh, bring the drape down and then you are able to work the abdomen. And if you have a female client, you put a towel first to drape them and then you pull this from underneath and hold the towel up here and then you pull from underneath and, you know, and expose them to do the abdominal area. So let's say that we are done with the head and the neck and now we're gonna do the arm. So all I do is Holding at the arm here, I just bring the drape over. And then I tuck it in right underneath at the waist. Right at the waist. You never want to do anything near the breast or near the genital area. But right here at the waist, I tuck it in really good. So now it frees up the arm and I can work on the arm. And once I'm done, I grab it from this side and just drape back up. And the same with the leg. I start at the foot. And then I go ahead and grab it, lift it up about an inch or two, and then just tuck it in underneath and tuck it in at the waist. This is all I'm doing, tucking in right at the waist and tucking in underneath here and tuck it in all the way through. You work the leg, 
And if you need to do stretches, then you ask your client to hold the sheet to their level of comfort. So they, they, they have control of how tight it is. And then, you know, you can do your lifts or stretches or whatever it is you're doing. And once you're done with that, then you just pull the sheet from down below here and you cover them back up. You don't even have to go near up there again. So there you have it. And then what I do is I bring it all, put their arms and their leg underneath and then I ask them to turn over. So from supine to prone, then I prepare the headrest first. And once the headrest is set, then I ask my client, you know, that they turn away from me because if they turn this way, it's bringing personal, uh, you know, space towards me. So I prefer that they turn away from me. So I just tell them to turn over, I lift the sheet so they can have the space, make it like a little tent, and then you have it. They just move up on their own, and then you, you, you drape it, you bring it down to the waist. Another thing that I wanna tell you, if you're gonna work the glute area, you just uncover, you fold here in the middle, and just uncover the side that you're gonna be working on right here, okay? You don't have to uncover, you don't have to bring it down all the way on both sides. You have to keep this area covered here and just uncover the area that you're working on. You don't wanna expose everything. So this is to work the back and the glutes and the hips. And again, if you need to, you tuck it in at the leg and tuck it in at the waist. So then now you're done. Let's say you're gonna move now to the leg. If it's cold, you wanna drape them. You wanna cover them back up. When you move to the leg and they are prone, you do the same thing. You bring the leg and you grab the sheet right here and just tuck it in right at the thigh and over here at the waist. You tuck it in at the waist and then I tuck it in all the way. And if they need, you know, a bolster, if they have back pain, you put a bolster in. Oh, so now let me show you sideline. Now, once you're done working the leg, you just pull the sheet out. That's it. And there they're covered again. So now for the sideline, in case you wanna do some specific work, you wanna make sure that you get the pillow for the cervical area ready so that you can support it as soon as they turn over. So then uh, your client turns again away from you on the table, comes down a few inches, and then you give them the support of the cervicals right away. And then you wanna support the top leg bottom leg is straight and you want to support the top leg and this raises the hip for people especially for people that sleep sideline which is really a better way to sleep you want to make sure and support this leg right here and if you're going to do sideline you ask your client to bring out their arm so they bring out their arm and then they can they have control of it here and then you tuck it in here in the front and then you can go back to the back. If, let's say you're working the scapula here or the back or a pregnant woman, and then you just uncover the part and tuck in at the bottom. I'm tucking right by the waist at the bottom here and the person keeps control of the sheet. They hold it with their arm right here. So you're just exposing the back right here. And for the leg, let me go back over this way again. And if you're gonna work, let's say you're working the IT band or uh, the tensor fascia latte, you tuck in right here and then right here at the leg and then you can just kinda roll it up. And here you have the, what I'm, this is what I'm doing, tucking the sheet from about four inches down and then the leg is exposed right here. This is a perfect way to uh, work the IT bang, the vastus lateralis, and even um, the semi-membranosis, tendinosis, all of this is exposed right here, and it's a great way to work. Once you're done working, like I said, all you gotta do is pull the sheet from the bottom part, and then it is, you know, very neat and very easy. Now, for people that can't lay down flat, like pregnant women after the second trimester they can't lay down flat because the aortic 
uh, artery uh, can get pressed by the baby. So especially the baby gains weight the last two months of pregnancy, so they can't lay down flat anymore. So I have a wedge, as you can see, this wedge, and I usually have it ready before my client comes in. So people that are, women that are pregnant, uh, people that get vertigo, people that have had tummy tucks, and they can't lay down flat. There are several people that really feel more comfortable like this. I have a client that has severe back injuries and this is way more comfortable for her. So having a wedge ready, so when they come in, they drape themselves, they lay themselves down, and I still do have a little uh, towel right here tucked in at the cervicals. You always want to support the cervicals and then remove it if you're going to do neck work and then just drape the same, drape the same like if you're going around, you know, wherever you start, if you start on that side or this side. So just remember for somebody that can't lay down flat, the wedge is a really nice option and that you want to make sure and support the cervicals. And um, also, I know that I get this question asked a lot from my clients when they first walk in. It's like, how do I, you know, what do I leave on? What do I take off? And I always tell them to undress to their level of comfort. Some people feel comfortable leaving their underwear on. Some people are, you know, doesn't matter or they really want you to work their low back. So I always leave it up to them. You know, we want to respect the client and respect what they're ready for you to work on and how they feel comfortable on your table. So I hope this gives you another option and several options to look at some new draping and incorporate uh, some of the things that we just learned. And till the next time, create a good day.